Middle-earth, Shadow of Mordor. The upcoming game set in Middle-earth introduces us to a new character, Talion, who has some really cool powers. So who exactly is he, and what are these new powers he introduces us to? My name is Talion Willivan, and in this video I'll tell you all that. Talion was a Gondorian ranger, and was stationed at the Black Gate, the gateway to the Black Lands, Mordor. While stationed at the outpost, he lived with his son Diriel and wife Irith. Sorry if I butchered the pronunciation there. In the beginning of the story told in the game, his outpost was attacked by orcs and goblins of Sauron's army, who end up killing many people at the outpost, sadly including Talion's family. The killer of this family, known as the Black Hand, ends up having a battle with Talion, Talion's last stand if you will, but sadly his will is broken, and he is defeated. But, instead of joining his family in the afterlife as expected, he's resurrected and joined by a wraith known as Silvermore. At this point, Talion is totally unaware of the wraith's presence. The wraith anonymously presents Talion the chance to get revenge for the wrongdoings to his family. He obtains multiple powers through his connection with Silvermore. Having been a ranger of Gondor for the majority of his life, he has become a highly skilled swordsman and archer. He is more proficient in using swords and daggers though, but being a ranger, he can also fire an arrow pretty accurately, although it is usually Celebrimor who does so. His experience as a ranger has provided him with great efficiency of stealth, as he is capable of moving rapidly from one opponent to another without them noticing. Talion is also an excellent climber, capable of scaling very high walls and walking along narrow passages or ropes. His physical capabilities are great and all, but you guys aren't here to witness what generic skills he has. You're here to find out what epic abilities he can conjure. Celebrimor, the Wraith, can grant Talion a host of additional powers that he can use to his advantage on the battlefields. While in the Wraith world, Talion can use the skill Shadow Strike. Shadow Strike is an attack that allows him to teleport to his enemy's location and swiftly kill them. Along with killing them, you travel quite far, instantaneously, so that could be also very useful for avoiding other groups of enemies. Talion is also capable of binding his enemy's feet to the earth for a short amount of time. This ability can allow you to either get away, or use their vulnerability to your advantage. Talion is also granted a flame ability, which may just be a basic fire attack to begin with, but who knows what will come of it. Slowing down time in combat is an ability that I will use a lot myself whilst playing as Talion. It is also a part of the binding ability, when you bind the opponent's feet to the ground, Time slows down for a brief second. Although the slowing down combat is only for a short period of time, it can prove to be an effective method of fighting. The most important of Talion's abilities is his power to manipulate the fears of his enemies and inflict paranoia on them, allowing him to create many beneficial opportunities. These enemies can then perform tasks to aid Talion, such as gather some intel, spreading dissent or attempting to assassinate their peers, underlings and commanders. So that's the basics of his abilities. I hope you'll have a better understanding of what you'll be using while playing as Talion. Before I go I'm just going to throw some quick trivia at you. You may or may not have known about Talion. Anshurn, the name of Talion's dagger, was actually his son's shattered sword, which he carries out throughout his quest for revenge as a memento, or reminder, of what he's fighting for. Talion's name comes from Latin, as with many things. It's from the term Lex Talionis. This means an eye for an eye, which is fitting. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Make sure to drop a like, drop a comment, and subscribe if you've not done so already. My name is Stally111. See you guys on the next video.